This is your host, the Apostle Reuben, with another short Bible lesson. Well, brothers and sisters, I decided to come back to what it means to be converted. Because unless you're converted, you will not see the kingdom. These are the words of the Bible. Let's get into them. The book of Matthew 18 and 3. And say, Verily I say unto you, Except ye be converted, and become as a little child, ye should not enter into the kingdom of heaven. See, if you're not converted, you will not see the kingdom. These are verses pastors skip over. Now, they'll read by them because that's the, that's the key. Let's just read on down and keep reading by the verses to make sure no one ever asks us a question. But you can always ask us, what does it mean to be converted? Let's go back again, brothers and sisters, to the book of Psalms. Chapter 19, verse 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. Ah, so that's what converts you. It doesn't matter what your pastor says converts you. Oh, we're converted in Jesus. Now, please give me back my pork chop. <laughs> the Bible says the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. To be converted is by law. It's what converts you. This is testimony. Now, if he'll put down the bologna sandwich long enough to flip through the scriptures and prove us wrong, mm. might want to question these preachers. Let's turn the page. Now, we're going to David. David is going to testify about the Holy Spirit and what it was put in him to do. Now, your pastors run around, rap song, right? But let's see what the Holy Ghost was in David and caused him to do. The book of Psalms 51, 11. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Holy Spirit. Now, David had the Holy Spirit long before Christ and John the Baptist were on the scene. It was in man. Okay, verse 12, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. Now with the spirit, what is he going to do? Then will I teach transgressors thy ways and sinners shall be converted unto thee. So what we have to do, brothers and sisters, is instead of reading on thou, let's look at what he says. Then I will teach transgressors thy ways. What are his ways? Because if we know what his ways are, then we'll know how sinners, which are transgressors of the law, are converted unto him. Got to know what his ways are, right? So let's look and see what his ways are by the Bible. Psalms 119, verse 15. I will meditate in thy precepts. How the precepts? Precepts are the laws and have respect unto thy ways. Ah, so his ways are the precepts, which are the laws. Again, the law is the converter of the soul. You can't be converted without it. Again, this is why your pastors don't read Acts 3.19. These ministers, they want to quote Acts 2.38, but Acts 3.19, they will not go to. Why? Let me show you why. Acts 319. Repent ye therefore and be converted. Also, you have to be converted. You have to be converted. That your sins may be blotted out. Also, your sins are not blotted out unless you're converted. Huh. Your sins are not blotted out unless you're converted. By what? The law. That's why they don't read Acts 319. We read it now. As we said, brothers and sisters, Christianity was meant to keep Christ in the sky, if you know what I mean. To try to keep the true children of Israel from coming together. But it's about your work. Again, Acts 3.19. Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. Ah. 
So no, we know here that you have to be converted for your sins to be forgiven. He can't become, if you're not converted, your sins are still with you. Pay attention. If you're not converted through the law, your sins are still with you. Trust us. We got the witnesses. Let's go to James. Now we're doing this in detail. James chapter 5 and verse 19. Pay attention, my brothers and sisters. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, ah, do, 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 do. if you err from the truth, mm, mm, yes, look at it. I want Paul to do this one. The book of Romans 2 and 20. An instructor of the foolish, a teacher of babes, which has the form of knowledge and of the truth, of the truth in the law. The truth of God is in the law. So when we want to know the truth, we got to go back to the Old Testament. Because that's where the truth is. And, of course, I'm not just going to sit here, brothers and sisters. Let's look and see by witness. Why would Paul say the truth? Why would Paul say the truth is in the law? This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law oh, is what? The truth. That's why Paul said the truth is in the law, because the law is the truth. Mm. Verse 151, thou art near, O Lord, and all thy commandments, all thy commandments are truth. So the law was the truth. Oh, so wait a minute. James chapter 5, verse 19 again. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, what was the truth? You just saw it, brothers and sisters. We proved what the truth was. Your pastors would have probably told you the truth was what was in your heart. And then picked up the pork chop sandwich and started eating it again. He, he doesn't have a verse. We're, we're reading it to you. And one convert him. Ah, one convert him. How? How would you convert him? By law. Let him know that he which converteth the sinner. Brothers and sisters, just read this slow with me. Let's read this slow. Because it's to our benefit. Verse 20, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death. And shall hide a multitude of sins. Wait now. Did you see that? Brothers and sisters, did you see that? Let him know that he which converteth. What converts you? The law. The sinner who is the transgressor of the law. From the error of his ways shall save. Now we know for sure that. Being converted by the law will save you. Save. 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 Letting you know that you're saved by the law. <sighs> Let him know that which converted the sinner from the error of his way shall save his soul from death and shall hide a multitude of sins. We hide a multitude of sins. When we convert the sinner by the law from the error of his way. So when we convert him back to the law, we hide a multitude of sins. This is why it says, brothers and sisters, and this is one of my favorite verses. The book of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 30. The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. And he that when his souls is wise, see, the fruit of righteous, the fruit of the righteous, the fruit of the righteous is a tree of life. Well, book of Psalms, chapter 37, verse 30, the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment. The law of God is in his heart. Ah, so the fruit. Oh, those that teach the law when the souls under God. Let's read. The